All right, we managed to get this just about perfect. I kind of wanted to start with Rocky Mountain Elk in their drink time because I figured it's the most difficult one to hit, like that short period from 17 to 1800, or we could have done 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., but I figured dark morning on stream would not be as fun. So it's 1710, 1713. Hopefully we can get a couple of them. We'll look for a bison for a bit. And then we're probably switching maps because I don't want to spend a ton of time on Silver Ridge, but most of what I want to fill in the Trophy Lodge at this point is the biggest wall plaques. So we're going to try to go for big stuff. What's going on, JW? Turkey release for console August 11th, so a little less than a month away. Been sub forever, first time catching a stream. Glad you can make it, man. Hope you're enjoying yourself. I need to not get distracted. We have like, <laughs> <laughs> at the longest for the late zones, we have 20 minutes. So, got to get around all the spots. Uh, Luxury Plug, thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. Chat for days. Holy. When's my birthday? September 22nd. We're getting kind of close. I'm almost officially even older than I was. But is bestest map? Is good map, but I really don't want to wear myself out. Like, uh, not wear myself out. Burn myself out on uh, on this map before I get to go for True Rack Mule Deer, so kind of waiting on that. I can't spot that bear, but I suppose for respawns, we'll try to smoke maybe two of these. Good thing my gun glitched. Okay, it's going to have to be, what is it going to have to be? Maybe if we can shoot the one under the tripod, we can get two. Maybe okay on that second shot, it might have been a little high. He's not dying. <laughs> Didn't go to playing. You've already burned yourself out. I haven't like completely, but I know I'm getting there. So that's why, like, the last week I pretty much didn't hunt it. Thought we'd come back to start with today, though. Did we get either of them? <laughs> I think we did. Maybe that'll help it along a little bit. Uh, 3D Dreams, thanks for the super chat, man. Love your content. I live in Blue Ridge Summit. I don't actually know where that is. Can't say I've heard of that. But hey, apparently you're a PA neighbor. I'm pretty sure. Or I think. I saw a dead elk up there. Definitely got one of them. When did this reserve release? On PC? <laughs> Was June 23rd. Um, Mitch, thanks so much for the super chat, man. This is my first stream I've ever been able to watch. You made me love playing the game. I haven't seen a diamond yet, and I've killed a lot of high-level animals, and I still haven't seen any diamonds. Well, first off, thanks for the generous support, dude. <laughs> Means a lot. Uh, secondly, if you're finding a lot of high-level animals, you're probably doing things right, just not getting lucky with, like, RNG and stuff. But, I mean, yeah. Keep at it. Keep hunting around water. Try different times. Go to multiplayer if you feel like single player is not working out for you. You'll find some stuff. Where are you at, Cody? Why won't it show me? Okay, I guess you're gonna have to tell me because it won't highlight for me. Uh, we got Alexander with the super chat and call me Jack as well. Thank you, dude. I don't know how you hunt animals so well. I can only get one black-tailed deer on average every 30 minutes. How do you do it? Uh, okay, sounds good, Brooke. If I'm hunting blacktail specifically, I would hunt between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. because that's their drink time. And I would hunt the lakes that they tend to most frequently drink at. So that's like the Chila Lakes, um, bottom left down in Renaki. Valmont Lake. There's a tiny little lake in the actual region of Valmont. That's good. And yeah, I mean, that's always what I'm doing for almost everything hunting drink times. I didn't mean to do that. Are you a bull? You are a bull. All the respawns. I'm fine with like 
10 of these in my lodge. Diamonds, that is, so <laughs> the more respawns, the better. I think we're just going to go over there and alert him instead of shooting at whatever he's doing. Got my first gold links. Nice. I thought he stopped. He did. How can I do it by accident twice? If I would try to do it, I wouldn't get it. That's a mountain goat, right? Yes. Anytime that I'm not hunting mountain goats, every mountain goat's an albino, whatever I'm after. That's what I... That's what I feel like. The elk are so tough, they are. They are big, tough males. What's my loadout? We're running 307 mil, uh, 243, and 22. Because we're going to be switching maps. I didn't load, apparently, half of my weapons today. We're going to be switching maps, like, fairly often. So I wanted the 243, just so we can cover everything. And, of course, the 22 would actually be useful on this map. Oh, so he moved. Okay. It wasn't necessarily the shot was bad. <laughs> to begin with, it wasn't great placement, but that certainly didn't help us. Uh, SWAT, thanks for the super chat, dude. The best place to find whitetail, I assume you're going to ask on Layton. I have a whitetail guide, actually, that's still pretty relevant, despite the fact that it's probably over a year old. Check that out. And <laughs> 3D Dreams, thanks for the super chat as well. I am going to do more real-life hunting content. Unfortunately, I didn't even see a turkey this year, so... Uh, there wasn't much for me to put into a video, but I've got a pronghorn hunt coming up in two and a half months, basically. And then, of course, deer hunting again. Hopefully we're going to get to have a little more real life hunting content this year, even than last year. We got uh. Cody coming in with a super chat. 25 days until that Goldie Boy badge. Dang, dude. Closer than I thought. Kyla hasn't sent those feet pics. Oy. When you're promised something, and then they don't deliver. It's just not okay. <laughs> Have to protect the community. You're right. So I thought elk would drink down here. Kind of thinking I was incorrect about such a thing. Again, we're so limited on the time to hunt them. Unless I see some really soon over here, we're just going to hop somewhere else because... I want to get through their drink time and then just move to probably Layton. I think that's going to be the plan. Billy Boy, thanks for becoming a YouTube member, man. I appreciate you. If you don't know, you can link your YouTube to your Discord. And you can get a special YouTube member role in the Discord. So make sure you do it. You do that. Make sure you join the Discord. Actually, that's uh, kind of important to get the role. And yeah, enjoy the emojis and the green name, man. Alright, none over here. Got some Twinkies that are not that special. Okay. I want to definitely do, I think, here. Just to see, because I shot a 5 here, and I'm wondering if there's a uh, a respawn of that. What's going on, mistress? I think there's a chance that 5 that I shot. <laughs> if you guys remember, it was one of the... It was in the Black Bear video, I think. But it was the one that I shot like 300 meters across here. So I don't even know if he drinks here, but I know elk drink here. Like I shot a piebald one here in multiplayer. So I want to check this spot quick. I didn't even see that, Alexander. Thanks for the super chat, man. Biggest animal in Silver Ridge Peaks? Is that a question? Or are you just saying that elk are? I mean, elk would be as far as weight goes. Well, I guess bison and then elk. I only half count bison for some reason, apparently. These bears. No elk? That would be weird. Just ordered a t-shirt? Hope you enjoy it. I like the the quality of the t-shirts that Teespring provides. I think they're nice, so I think you'll like it. Man, my elk plans are not working. More bears here than I thought, which is good. I still want a color phase diamond, especially if they ever do that multi mount. But I think we're just gonna make a jump. Down here is almost bound to have some. 
Would you say that you're overweight? Nah, I might even be below average. I'm like 5'8 and a half, and I weigh like 137 or something. I was overweight, or at least slightly. In December, I weighed about 165, and then I was like, nah, too thick. So I just took my thick suit off. You have a couple over 1,200 caribou. That was a period of time where basically all animals were scoring around plus 500 to what their score was. You're talking about the old scoring system, I believe. So I think the highest you could get was 1,500 or maybe even above that. But yeah, that's that's definitely a glitch. Uh, when do we go for IRL pronghorn? It's going to be like end of September, beginning of October. <laughs> Somewhere in that range. Okay, we actually found some elk. Good. Um, Billy Boy, thanks again, man. Why did they delay the console release for Silver Ridge Peaks? I don't know the answer to that, but, um, I believe TK came in here and kind of told us some stuff. One of the things he mentioned was it just, like, wasn't, like, the PC one was really good, and the console one wasn't, and they wanted to have, like, a proper good release. So, like, that much I can tell you, but I don't know what actually, you know, caused it or whatever. All the super chats are happening. We get... I don't know which one came in. I think 3D Dreams shot my first buck while watching your YouTube video and getting all diamonds. Wait, really? That's cool, dude. This one I can see. I don't know if he's going to come in next. Uh. Oh, it actually did. How about that? James Larson, thank you as well, man. When is Silver Ridge Peaks on console? And keep up the diamonds. Silver Ridge Peaks release on console is going to be August 11th. And, uh, yeah, I'll do my best, man. I appreciate that. We're going to try to get two again. And hopefully it goes better than last time. Uh. Hmm. More elk drink down here than I thought. They may well be leaving their zones already, but either way, I'm still going to try to get maybe the four and then I guess one of the threes. Can I though? Oh, if he moves, I can. Eh. Where are you? Thank you for taking forever to run because I, I did the bad. Can shoot more stuff since we're in a tripod. But there's a bull. Too far forward, I think. And also, I was zero for one fifty. I thought I was zero for seventy-five. Nope. You were so good, angle. That's okay. I guess we'll just be happy with that instead of tracking other ones. We can hit another spot super quick. Uh, we got Avery Sutton with a super chat as well. I appreciate that. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't see that in my alerts and then it was below another one that I already read. So I don't know what the deal with that was. Can't hit nothing gaming. Thanks for becoming a YouTube member, man. I know you've been around for a while, so I assume you know the drill. But just in case you don't, make sure you join the uh, Discord. Link your YouTube. Get the YouTube member rule. And enjoy your member badge, your emojis, your green name, all the good stuff. I appreciate that, man. And Billy Boy with another super chat. Thank you, dude. Uh, someone was saying Yodi True X is going to come out with Silver Ridge, but I'm not sure. Yes. Uh, EW did say console release of Silver Ridge Peaks would have Yodi True Rex with it. So if that's, you know, <laughs> something to look forward to, at least there is that. Um. I think the bighorn fixes potentially could come with it as well. But I will say, I really feel like Mule Deer True Racks are going to complete this map in a lot of ways. So it'll actually be good to start that way, I feel like. I mean, I'm trying to look at the positive side of that because it's unfortunate to wait so long. But yeah, I do think it'll actually be maybe even more fun from the start for you guys just because of the Mule Deer True X. We got John with the super chat. I love your videos and the noise this makes. If you don't know what that is, uh, that was TK on one of Expansive World streams. TK is the uh, community manager of the game. And I don't know why he made that noise, but I immediately asked him if I could steal that for an alert. And he said yes, and probably like two years later, I'm still using it. Very welcome. Thank you, too, for your contributions to the community. I appreciate you, man. And also, I forgot to say to John, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Bighorn don't need fixed. They look good. They shouldn't curl like that. Bighorn don't do that. And also, they don't have enough mass. Like, the fours look good. The fives... No. <laughs> Something went wrong. Some of the fours don't even look good, but... There is a certain horn shape for the fours that looks, like, perfect. It's like a blonde male. I couldn't get them to drink here, though. If you guys saw that video, they wouldn't drink here. Did we time that right? Nah. I wanted to get them... I'm wasting all my bullets. At this point, we're kind of done hunting elk, but... I wanted to get him side on when he turned, and that didn't quite work. I definitely didn't just hit my mic, by the way. That did not happen. Just got here, what did I miss? Nothing too special, man. Couple of decent animals for respawns here and there. <laughs> uh, to destroy her, thanks for the super chat. Big meal. He's always appreciated. Bighorn should look like Mouflon do now, except bigger. Yeah, maybe a slightly tighter curl, not much. Nah. But yeah, it's Mouflon horns could be stuck on the Bighorn and I wouldn't complain. Uh, 80 underpass, thanks for the super chat, man. Support's always appreciated. Did they increase the chance of turkey strutting? Nah. I don't think so. But it also kind of seemed like they might have. So I can't say for sure. I do want to actually, super quick, hop to here. Just in case we have a late zone. Because there's a chance. Uh. We got Kelly Denton with two different super chats. I appreciate that. You have the game? That's good. Good to hear. I hope you're enjoying the game. Do you have the animal integrity sheets for weapons? Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can... Can you download a Google Doc? I honestly have no idea. But in the Discord, there's a bunch of commun uh, community-made spreadsheets, and most of them are Google Docs. I don't know if you can download those, but maybe. Should get a mullet. Should I, though? Uh. That's like a several-year commitment. No late zone. Okay. We are then... That's a stump. Gonna hop to Layton. Yeah. And actually, it's still a Roosevelt elk jump time. So we may just take advantage of that and hunt till 1900 and then change the time because I don't want to hunt in the dark, but can do that. Uh, Nate, thanks so much for the super chat, man. Let's, uh, let's go one sec. Here, I think. Give elk a little bit of time to spawn in potentially. Uh, my cousin Xander and I are patiently waiting for Silver Ridge to come to console. We've been grinding the heck out of our hunger in the meantime. Shot a level 4 Diamond Wildebeest last night. Scored 38. Much love from West Virginia. Well, thanks, dude. And hey, congrats on the Diamond Wildebeest. I was actually thinking that was the other option I was going to do for today's stream. Was, like, just Cape Buffalo and Wildebeest. But I wanted to really focus on the big stuff. Because I've got most of those deer-sized plaques filled. But I like the Wildebeest. The Diamond Wildebeest are cool. I don't know what's happening that Mistress feels the need to say this, but I'm scared. I've basically only been looking at Super Chats the entire 20 minutes because you guys are insane, but I try to get to the chat when there's not alerts happening nonstop. Got a deer and an elk tag? Sweet. I was watching, um, it was Mediator, actually, on his elk hunt, and if you don't know which one I'm talking about, and maybe this can help you remember, it's the one where... He shoots it too far back and another hunter actually finds it and, like, calls him over. But anyway. Uh, I really want to elk hunt. I think that's going to be fun. Flinter is actually my twin brother. Yes. That's definitely 100% true. Don't make us take a DNA test, though. Have you shot a piebald Euro bison? Yeah, actually, I shot a female. Release day of Spring Creek Manor Trophy Lodge. Only one I've ever shot. I've had a melanistic female as well, but never an albino, actually. Uh, Kelly, thanks again for the super chat. 
is always appreciated. This is why I mainly just watch the streams now instead of chat. You know, a lot of people actually watch the streams afterwards, and the biggest thing that I want to know is for those people, do they... There's a lot of pressure there, actually. Do they uh, leave the chat open to see it? Or do they just watch it as a two-hour video? That's what I want to know. Has I noticed you're here? I noticed you're here because I saw people saying hi, yes. Hi. Just killed a legendary level 9 lion poster, or albino level 9 lion post in the Discord, man. I've seen a couple of those, actually. I think there's two in the super rares in the official Discord. I want one. I linked my YouTube to Discord, what I have to do now. So if you are a YouTube member, you'll get the YouTube member rule in like 45 minutes. You don't have the badge though, so as of now, if you were to become a YouTube member, you're all set. Ignore chat and just watch the video. Well, if you watch them afterwards, then there's my answer. Thank you. So like 50 Oryx during my hunt on private land. Uh, a couple of possible records. Dang. So is that in real life? Are the record ones females? Is it done correctly in game? Because I know like the horn shape is generally correct. But I don't know which ones actually score higher. Where is Aaron? Uh, he's on some kind of trip to the middle of nowhere or something. Silver Ridge Peaks a DLC? Yes. <laughs> I don't know like if it's going to be full price when it comes out on console. I actually don't know if it's still on sale on PC, but it was at one point. But it should be $7.99, like, full price at some point. <laughs> Whether there's, like, an initial sale or whatever. This didn't really work how I thought it would. But I killed a bunch of elk over here recently, so... Let's see if there's any over there. I'll donate $100 if you get a diamond heart shot. And how do I join the Discord? The Discord link is in the description, or you can do exclamation mark Discord in the chat, and Nightbot will give you the link. But I appreciate the super chats, and if we see a diamond, maybe we can go for a hard shot. There's certain species that I really don't <laughs> prefer to try to hard shot. Elk would be one of them. But if it was a moose, not even an issue. Uh, Snakehead, thanks for the super chat as well, man. Do you know why tents or things like that disappear when I reset my internet? I wouldn't expect resetting the internet to have anything <laughs> to do with tents disappearing. Um... So, I've actually had it where tabbing out of my game will have tents go down. I hope that range was correct. Starting to think that range was not correct. How far was that? No, it was about right. Maybe I shot too low. Anyway. Um, yeah. I don't know what causes it, but I wouldn't have thought internet would do anything. It's something to do with, like, the game trying to place it back on your map. Ooh. Dang it. <laughs> that's still not even close to Diamond. But that's, like, the best-looking moose I've seen in a long time. Well. We'll go over there. Cut a level 7 albino grizzly. Forgot to tax it. Oh. It's so difficult to get, like, a, a male rare. Grizzly. That's unfortunate. Uh. Just in case you just shot it, by the way. If you haven't shot anything else, you can go back to your trophy lodge and taxidermize it still. You probably already know that, but just in case, um, you can go back to your trophy lodge and tax your last unsaved harvest. So, there's a chance still, maybe. That's gotta be, like, near diamond weight and just have a, a bad rack for this. Uh, Billy Boy, thanks again, man. Her shot of diamonds. Oh, me and another will donate. I see what you're saying. Well, if we get the chance, might just go for a hard shot. It could be fun. 
Sometimes it's just necessary, depending on the angle. <laughs> no, don't trot. I need to shoot you. That shot hit a little better. Yeah, Jacob, they can be impressive looking, and thanks for the super chat, man. They really can. I feel so bad for you answering the questions a million times. I mean, it's part of the job, ultimately. Like, uh, I just came from over there. Where are you? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it can be repetitive, and I'm sure for some people watching it can get annoying, but I guess if there's advice I can give to streamers or people that want to be streamers and stuff, you have to remember that even though there's, for instance, a thousand people in here right now, the person that just asked when does the new map come out hasn't been here the entire time and just wants to know the answer, so I mean, yeah, that's just a part of it. There he is. Biggest, ugliest male I've ever seen. Can't heart shot elk when I want to. But when I just randomly go for it while he's walking, don't even worry about it. Started using the M1. The M1's a great gun. I like it. I swear this was the diamond rack. If this guy weighs <laughs> like 590 kilos, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, not diamond weight. He's not bad. Definitely one of the best moose I've killed uh, since... When did they sort of mess them up? I think it was just the last update. But certainly the best since then. What are those? Hi. They're moose. Don't worry about it. Uh, DK Greer, thanks for the super chat, man. How much to make you switch out a weapon like Twitch? Uh, I think we might leave that to Twitch, because then, then it becomes... I don't know. I don't want to make it a money thing. Oh. I didn't hard shot an elk. I next shot an elk. That's okay. Mini ducks, which should spot kind of quickly-ish, because if there's another thing I got to fill in the trophy lodge, it would be small plaques. No big males, though. All right. I'd say it's time to switch to 5 a.m. I don't do a lot of... uh like time changes on streams it's usually before the stream and then I just go so it'll be interesting to see if we find stuff running around switching to their new zone let's do eh, 557 make sure they're all heading to their zone and let's just see what happens if we go up here it used to be such a good spot just got a melanistic male kudu. Were you the one that posted it in Discord and didn't know there was a melanistic? If you were, that was a very nice size one. Play Classic Live. I am going to stream Classic again at some point. I enjoyed playing it the other day for the Red Feather video. I don't think I placed in that shotgun comp. I was down to third by the end of the day and there was a lot of time left. But it was good to play and find a big male again. Shot my first diamond. It's a mountain goat. I love the diamond mountain goats. I've been trying to get one more. Because there's a couple of spots in the <laughs> in the lodge that I want to fill with them. They're so cool looking. Oh, you're a different one. Well, nice, man. What level was it? And 3D Dreams. Thanks again, dude. I'm on right now. Can you give me a good whitetail spot? Uh, my favorite in the place where I got my great one was Runaki. Um, specifically right here. I literally shot it like there, right above the outpost. What did I miss? Uh, not too much. We did actually smoke a decent moose a minute ago and some decent Rocky Mountain Elk. A blonde level 6 bear. Just kind of getting some stuff for respawns if nothing else. I'm Hunter Blake from Twitch. Well, good to see you on YouTube as well, dude. Got Yodi Twax. I'm down for more diamond or rare Yodis. Let's see if we can see them. That's a female. 
That may... Oh, that looks decent. Ah, not as big as I thought. Still good. I mean, if we can get both, that would be great. But thought he was a bigger male. Another one. That's a slightly less impressive one. Okay. No, wait. You're not supposed to trot. Eh. Don't worry, I got this. Okay. Not gonna lie, I thought that grass might have been a elk. A really big one. That should be both of them. Did I get the first one, though? Don't think I did. Although I'm not sure how. Thought it was fine. Somebody over there. Still ain't dead. I don't know what happened on the first shot. I thought it was good. Probably gonna go around this way. What gun is that? It's the 300. It comes with the Yukon Valley DLC. In my opinion, best big gun, big game gun in the game, hands down. You shoot anything you see? I mean, that's a good strategy. Because ultimately you're getting respawns by doing that. and More new animals show up the next time you hunt. So it works. Can't blame you for that. Should install aimbot. Well, that wouldn't be fun. How can I join Expansive Worlds Discord? Uh, Jack says hi. Hi. They must have a link somewhere. I actually don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, don't. Cool. I don't know where you can get a link to their Discord. I mean, surely on their socials or something? But yeah, I genuinely don't know the best place to do that. So we got two. Wait. Now I think all three died now. I would like to know what happened on that first shot, though. Is there a video today? No. Um, Mondays and Fridays are the days there's no video. Of course, Mondays there's the YouTube stream, which ultimately becomes a video in a way. And Fridays there's a Twitch stream, which also basically becomes a video once it's over and of course that's over on Twitch. 507 score Mjolnir? Yeah, that's not bad, man. That's somewhere close to if it's not actually Big Rack. It's gotta be in the area. So he did die. I gotta think it's Shoulder Blade. Unless it was Vertebrae, but I didn't think I shot that high. It was Vertebrae. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think I was nearly that high. Why are there so many animals I hunt and there isn't even a squirrel? We talking about in real life or in game? In game, one of the reasons right now there's so many animals is I just changed the time. So instead of... Basically, let me back up a step. Animals spend, I would say, around 95% of their time in zones and the other 5% of their time is traveling to zones so right now instead of being stuck in their zones where we don't see them a lot of the time like in the brush or whatever they're traveling to their zones because we've changed the time and therefore a different zone for them has become active but I mean also we're hunting drink zones which certainly helps our cause drink zones are the easiest to find generally near water is open so you can see far that stuff all helps us out My favorite model in the game? Mountain Goat. I think they nailed it. I like the Pronghorn a lot. I think they just... They got Mountain Goat. Like, 100%. I just think they look really good. Um, Maybe we waited long enough. I'm just going to hop back down here and see if there's anything else here. English only, please? Yeah, and just so I can add to that and make sure you guys understand we can't moderate other languages so we don't know what you're saying so we got to keep it to uh english so we know what's going on and can properly moderate it couple of bulls there 
Not that it's gone well so far, but I'm going to try to get both. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what happened in what order we got. Paul with the YouTube membership, I really much appreciate that, man. Really much? That ain't a thing. I really... <laughs> Let's try that again. I greatly appreciate that, man. Make sure you join the Discord and link <laughs> your YouTube to the Discord to get the YouTube member rule. We got... Let me just shoot these so I'm not standing here staring at stuff and then I'll go through alerts because I know there's a lot of them. And I think other ones that still need to play. Okay. And you. And you. Surely we didn't mess it up that time. Okay. Let's make sure I got all these. The Destroyer. Shout out to Biggie and Fame. I shoot the Elks. Biggie needs all the shout outs. I support this. We got Kiara with the super chat. How you doing? Have I missed anything? I'm doing good. Um, you haven't missed anything special anyway, other than my shooting. It's been a little bit special today. It's, it's really not been the best. But, um, yeah, nothing, you know, trophy lodge worthy. We're just smoking a bunch of big males for respawns uh. at the moment. Hey, what's up, Maytag? Diamond caribou, good stuff, dude. Uh, what time did I shoot the great one? It would have been beginning of white television time when I saw it. So around 12.30 to 1 o'clock in game. Because I started a second run. And literally it was one of the first animals I found on that run. Uh, white is a gamer. Thank you, dude. 145 wild boar. Nice. Very nice. Very nice big male. Always good to see the big males in Super Chats. And we got Elizabeth. I'm your biggest fan. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Smashed a 358 Mule Deer last night. Is that classic? If that's classic, that's a real big male. What music do I use in these streams? That is from Epidemic Sound, which is like a... I don't know the proper name for it necessarily. It's basically a thing that has a bunch of music, which you can listen to for free. And if you want to use it in any kind of content, you can pay like a monthly membership thing to use it. It's nice. Was thick. Was thick. Am I hunting elk or moose? Kind of both. Mostly elk right now. Moose are kind of bugged. It's possible for them to make diamond, but it's really rare. Like the biggest diamond moose I'm seeing are one to two points above diamond, which means... Can I not do that? <laughs> Which means basically you need almost a max score moose to make diamond for their scores right now. Which is a little bit annoying, so mainly focusing on elk. I want some diamond moose in my lodge, so I hope they fix that with the coming update. <laughs> Holy, I actually hard shot one. By the way, the reason you keep seeing me do like this stuff is because my mouse is screwed up, and for some reason it keeps double clicking. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if I gotta get a new mouse or if there's a fix, but yeah. If you see me doing that over and over, blame my mouse. Was in Call of the Wild? Still not bad though, man. Was just curious because in Classic that would be a real big, not typical. Got a 300? Was that recently? I Like the best I've seen has been 291. If you got a 300, that's good to know. Maybe they can. I mean, they were reaching about 316. So even still, they're probably a little low. Uh, yeah, Space. That's just true, Rex. They kind of be that way. Okay, I think we're going to ignore this lake because the way my mouth is, it's difficult for me to <laughs> make quick running shots without the scope. Uh, John, thanks for the super chat, man. Coyote hunting tips, they're the bane of my existence. You know, I'm really not that good with coyotes. I've been fairly lucky with them, in the sense that, you know, I had my 1001, I've got a diamond and a pie ball in the lodge and stuff. But they're mainly opportunity kills for me. Like, I don't really ever actively seek them out. I did a couple of videos where I did specifically hunt them, and I mean, I found some, but I'm not good with them that much that's one we'll try to get super quick what 
I don't know how that missed, to be honest. Now we get to run all the way around there. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, the thing that I find best for coyotes is between 5 and 7 a.m. They're feeding. They're a species I don't hunt in their drink time. And the biggest reason is they drink from 19 to 20. No, wait, that's fox. Coyotes are midnight to 3 a.m., I think. And they're just so little that hunting them in the dark is just added difficulty. You can't see them. So instead, I tend to hunt them in their feed time in the early morning, because at least they're still out and active. I don't know. I mean, I'll see them. But like I said, I I don't <laughs> kill a lot of them. Am I starting to get bored with Call of the Wild? No, nah, not really. I mean, there's certain things in Call of the Wild I'll get bored with, like... Uh, for instance... What's a good example of something I really got bored with? I got bored of... Um, Quattro Kalinas pretty quickly when that map came out. But now I actually like it more than I really ever did initially. So, go figure. But I don't get bored of the game itself very much. There have been times, but I don't know. At some point I went from just like only multiplayer because I only wanted to get diamonds to a lot of <laughs> even at one point there only single player because I was trying to get respawns for diamonds that way. Like, just different ways of playing the game that end up being a lot of fun. Keep me interested. And you know you're always, like, a few months away from new content. So, that helps. <laughs> um, I didn't even realize that was the super chat. Sorry about that. Thank you for the super chat, Frederick. I didn't... I don't know why that didn't uh, hit me <laughs> that that's what that was. I do appreciate you. We're gonna make a fast travel if I can click on things. And sticky cheese, thanks as well. 263 big male fallow, nice man. On to the red deer grind. Hopefully you don't get one of those weird ugly ones like I got with the <laughs> one side small rack, one side big rack. Hopefully you get a proper good looking big male. But congrats on the fallow. I'd actually like some more diamond fallow as well. I just, <sighs> I can't bring myself to even hunt or <laughs> found it hard enough to shoot fallows for respawns. I have two. Probably gonna stay at two. No big males here either. Alright, in that case. Which way is the wind going? We're actually gonna be good to run down. This is the lake we killed the diamond at on Twitch. And actually, I realized I didn't put that in a video. So I might just chuck it in uh, Sunday's highlights this week, or maybe I'll just, if I hunt Leighton for a video, I'll be like, oh, hey, here's this. Have it. It's for you. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Landon, thanks so much for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. Do you know if the, wait, how do you know if the animal is diamond or not? It's based off a couple of things. Um, generally speaking, it's the level. So, for instance, like, we're hunting for elk and moose right now. Both of those max at level 5. So level 5s are going to be a high chance of being a diamond. But <laughs> it's not a guarantee. Right now, I don't know if level 4 moose still make diamond, but they were making diamond. And somebody did post a level 4 diamond Roosevelt elk. It's possible. It's really rare. The other thing is, any animal with true X, which is basically every antlered animal that's not axis deer and mule deer. Not horns, just antlers. Some have horns, some have true horns, but let's just stick with antlers for the moment. Uh, any animal with true X, their actual score is the very center of the score estimate that you get when you spot them. I don't think it's supposed to be that way, but for whatever reason, it is. So... Uh, I can basically know within two <laughs> what the score is going to be. So if we find an elk, I'll show you. But yeah, there's some decimal stuff that can play with that. But if you know what the minimum requirement for diamond is and you see that the center of their score estimate is above the minimum, you basically know you're looking at a diamond. Again, for <laughs> the true act species. All the super chats happened when I was talking about that. I'm bad. Thank you, man. You were in one of my hunting sessions last night and I was flipping out. Um, 
Did I play multiplayer last night? I know there's a lot of fake flinters running around, and I'll get back to that in a second. Um, I might have been. I actually can't remember. What map? <laughs> I did play multiplayer. I think Silver Ridge Peaks. Hopefully, otherwise I'm losing my mind. Mouse, can you please? Hey. That's so annoying. Anyway. We got somebody with the super chat. Are you winning, son? Always, Dad. Thank you. He's appreciated. We got Shiny Eevee. What species can be atypical? P.S. I love your channel. All right. If we're just talking about Call of the Wild, technically Whitetail right now are the only ones with the great ones. Eventually, there's going to be others. But, yeah. Whitetail are the only ones that actually have, like, a proper atypical scoring with the great ones. But I appreciate the super chat as always. We got Billy Boy with the super chat. I'm back. What I miss? Nothing special, man. No big males, just some average males. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the bull that was standing here when we shot the diamond. And actually, somebody brought it up to me in Discord, and it does seem to be the case sometimes. I can make hard shots now after I said I can't do it. Um. He's, sometimes it seems you gotta shoot all of the males in a herd or in a zone to get respawns. So maybe next time we come back, we're gonna have more elk here. I'd love for that guy to stop. I still want a diamond big rack blacktail. He did stop, but he's up in the trees. Okay. Uh, we'll head over there and try to call him in. We got Fredrick with the super chat. Is there any new maps that's in the making right now that you know of? No, I mean, Silver Ridge Peaks is still in development for console, so they've certainly not said anything about other new maps for the future. And we got I'm Bad with the Super Chat again. Silver Ridge Peaks. Okay, probably was me. But yeah, that's the thing I actually wanted to get to, so good timing for you to uh, Super Chat again to remind me about that because there are a lot of fake flinters running around. There's a lot of fake... Uh, all the YouTubers, to be honest, for this game. Like, there's fakes of pretty much everybody. And I know they're doing and saying some stuff that's, like, definitely not good. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. But I do just want to make it, like, very clear. If there's ever at least a flinter in multiplayer with you, and they ask you to, like, give them a diamond or a rare or help them find stuff, it's not me. I'm never going to ask for diamond or rare animals. I'm never going to accept an offer for diamond or rare animals from people in multiplayer because the fun for me isn't shooting the animal. The fun is actually the the grind to get it, in a sense. So please don't give up your big males to fake flantros in multiplayer. Because, again, like, the... As I said, they're doing and saying some stuff that's really not good. But I don't see how that can be stopped. But I can at least be sure if you guys know that I'm not going to ask for diamonds and rares. I'm not going to accept them if you offer them. I can at least know you're not going to lose cool stuff that you guys are spending hours to get. Because you think you're helping me with a video when it's not even me. So that I did want to say. I'm glad you brought that up actually. Oi, it's lucky. You saw me and Didi in one session? That would have been fake. I do, like, I have Didi on Steam, and I'll join multiplayer games he's in. Not often, but, like, I definitely do it every now and then. <laughs> so I'm not going to say that if you see, like, a Flinter and a Didi in a multiplayer session that it's fake. But a lot of times, <laughs> it's several friends messing around be, uh, with fake names of several different YouTubers, so... I would say certainly be on the cautious side if you see <laughs> several. Uh, Frederick, thanks for the super chat. I have not been to Norway, actually. I think I'd like to be someday, but... I have not been outside the States. Because I am afraid of planes, not really. I don't like airports specifically. The plane doesn't bother me. Not even 1% of your subs are here? Isn't that crazy? If a thousand people were in chat, say, two years ago, that would have been, like, closer to 2%. 
I don't know why I came here. I'm not really after Blacktail, but I suddenly remember Blacktail drank here, and I guess it just had to happen. But I want to go probably my two Chila Lakes. Probably here. And then we'll maybe just run around in places we could potentially see both elk and moose for a little while. Cut a max weight for bison, will it respawn in the same spot? That I can't actually answer. I think so. But I'm not 100% sure. Of course, that's a max one that's going to flee. I'm not 100% sure that it works that way. Eh. Mouse. <laughs> Why? See... When I go for respawns, I shoot like 20 animals. So maybe it's the same animal respawning? Or maybe it's a different one that was shot somewhere completely differently that, you know, is in the same place as another one I shot. I don't think anybody really knows the answer as to whether or not they spawn in the same place. It seems like they probably do. What state do I live in? I'm in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Get over here to where this big male is. Graham, thanks for the super chat, dude. A tad late, but how's the stream been? Not too bad. My mouse is screwed up, and that's slightly annoying me, but we're actually dropping a lot of stuff. Like, we shot probably five or six Rocky Mountain Elk. Even more Roosevelt's than that already. A couple of moose, one that was actually decent. Like, we're working through the species pretty well for respawns. We'll go here first, and I'm also going to buy some 300 ammo, because I needs it. Your voice is so relaxing, you should think about doing some, some YouTube content? I'm not sure what you meant, but I think that's not what you meant. <laughs> I'm slightly confused. But thank you, I still appreciate that. Eh. Mouse, work. I think it's double clicking and then it wants to not buy stuff. 200 ought to suffice. You know what? Eh. Nah. I shot some big elk down at Belmont Lake right when they were fixed, but I think that was just them passing through on a time reset, so I'm gonna go up here. I don't seem to actually get elk drinking down there, so I don't know. blacktail hunting spots? I'll show you a couple while we're actually on the lake. Or on the map. I mean, I'm gonna show you lakes. That's what I meant. Belmont Lake, it's been one of the most consistently uh, good spots on the entire map for me. Lots of fives. This little lake up here by, it's good. These three in Chilo. And this little lake down here. So you could basically draw a, like a circle. <laughs> All these littler lakes in this area. And then you get some down here. Um, up here is good. And they are actually showing up in this area, which they didn't used to. But, there seem to be a lot. 1k people here is still a good thing? Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, it used to be 30. Not that long ago. Can I please change what I assume you're talking about the super chat sound? I am going to get proper alerts with proper sounds. I need to get on that. I need to figure out what I want first. And I don't know what I want, so that's part of the issue. Are moose fixed now? No. Moose seem to be, like, capped incorrectly or something. I don't know what the issue is, but yeah, they're still scoring weird. You got a new phone? Holy... What phone? Got a big rack diamond blacktail yesterday? Nice, dude. I still want one of them. <laughs> Mouse, stop it just want to play my game uh savannah thanks for the super chat what other stuff do you want to see in call of the wild the biggest thing that i'd actually want to see right now i think is like an age class system instead of um the levels <laughs> i think that would make the game a whole lot more realistic feeling like if we spotted this blacktail and it say instead of saying four easy it said like i don't know what a good blacktail age is but say Four to seven years or something for the age. That should probably be more like a five, but anyway, you get the point. I'd really like to see an age class system. And then as far as like new content goes, 
Um, I think... I want to see a desert map, like coos deer, javelina, coyotes, jackrabbits, that kind of thing. I think it would be cool. Uh, 3D Dreams, thanks as well, man. Can you buy a face cam or face reveal? I've done a face reveal before, but I've also done, like, sort of, I guess, face reveals in my real-life hunting content, so I have it there. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of face games for, like, this kind of content. Like, not a lot happens. <laughs> this got a special reaction. Maybe sometime. Uh, Daryl, thanks for the super chat. All the streaming you do... Internet security... Wait, what internet security do I use? Is that your question? I assume so. Um, just like VPN. If that's what you're asking me. If it's not, then I don't even know what you mean. I might be dumb. Sounds good, Silver. Sounds good. A suppressor pack would be pretty cool. As long as it's literally just affecting the sound we hear, I'm fine with it. I don't want it to affect, <laughs> like, animals. Make them spook not as far away kind of thing. Like... I don't want it to make the game any easier, but I'm 100% cool with making the 300 quieter. Like, please, kills my ears. Man, if I just zeroed for 150, would have been okay. What are these? Oh, the rabbit tracks. I thought that was gonna be a fox. Hello? <laughs> are you the female one? You're a small male. I mean, I guess it respawns. Eh! I hit the rock. That's annoying. Nope. Alright. That's a better one. Doing really good. Um, Frederick, thanks again, man. For how many years have you been playing Call of the Wild? Um, I actually got it. I got to play it on the beta that was run in December of 2016, and then I bought the game release in 2017. That was like February 17th, 18th, something like that. Slow down, dude. Yeah, we got it. So yeah, long time. Ah! <laughs> Mouse, stop it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need to figure something out. It's not that bad in videos because I can remember. Like, I don't have to have everything the entire two hours in it. But, holy. You don't like the fact that Silver Ridge Peaks is that late? Yeah, I know, it's unfortunate, but... That's kind of the way it is. Not a whole lot we can do about it at this point. There's foxes in Layton? Did I say fox? Coyotes, not foxes. Foxes could fit. It would be cool. Aren't they bringing a dog DLC in soon? It seems like they might be. They had a uh, a survey asking a lot of stuff about dogs. So, potentially, yes. I can confirm you're a multiplayer on Silver Ridge Peaks. You are in my server at one point. I'm Cap275 in Call of the Wild. Name sounds familiar enough. Sounds about right. Ben, I actually never have killed a melanistic um, mule deer. I tracked one on Parquet. Probably within the first week or two of Parquet coming out, I tracked a level 3 buck a long time. And then I couldn't find it and I was like, heh, this is Parquet. There's melanistic and albino and rare mule deer everywhere. I mean, there's everything that's not melanistic everywhere, but I've never found a melanistic since. It'd be cool to get, like, a diamond melanistic one. I've shot melanistics of probably almost everything at this point. Mule deer is not one of them. 
One gun pack is the 22. That would be weapon pack one. Or weapon pack three if you want the pistol. You know what I'm going to try? This is going to mess with me because I do a lot of, like, quick binocular looks and then putting it down. But I feel like aim toggle is going to be nicer to us. What map is this? This is Layton Lakes, the second map. Uh, it, it's sort of the first map ever released. It came along with Hirschfelden, but Hirschfelden was the only map on the beta, so technically it's the second map ever. Might have to go soon. No worries, dude. Got a Diamond Moose 299 level 4. Good to know that they are still making it at 4 then. <laughs> High uh, weight less... What? <laughs> Let's try that again. High weight estimate. Low score estimate. Whatever a less estimate is, I don't want to know. Why isn't the M1 on console? Play this. That would be in the Smoking Barrels weapon pack. It's a good gun. Would highly recommend. Best gun for small game without DLCs. I mean, you're going to have to go with the 12 gauge shotgun you get at the beginning. I do wish they'd give a 22. This is not a DLC weapon. Because small game hunting is such a huge part of the game at this point. I mean, you have three duck species, two rabbit species, turkey. Um, is there anything else you can shoot the uh, 22? Shoot with the 22 and get, like, the integrity? <laughs> Even if there's not. That's something around 10% of the entire game, species-wise. Stop. So up there, animals don't leave tracks. And shooting a fleeing animal is just asking to not be able to find it. Naturally, you would stop right after I had you spotted. And I tried to spot you again, but I couldn't do it. Which way is it going? I'll get that super chat in one second, by the way. I see you over there. Don't think I don't. Boy. Pick a spot and let me spot you. This is annoying. Where was he at? Uh, there's a something, but it's not him. Well, anyway, I guess we got a minute. Um, 3D Dreams. Thanks again, man. Go buy a new mouse and can you tell me good four spots at... Le I don't know how to say it, but Medved Tiger for my challenge. Goodness, is that in the bottom left? I, If it's the mission, I think it's in the bottom left. There's a lot near that river. It's a tiny little river that runs north to south. Would recommend checking that spot out. But, uh... I appreciate the super chats. I'll <laughs> look into getting a new mouse soon then. Is big appreciated. And Professor Kit, thanks as well. Remember me, Hunting Master? Can you check your Discord after stream, please? Thanks. Question, where's good elk and whitetail spots? I've got a guide on my channel for both elk and blacktail, actually. So, or elk and whitetail. Yeah, whitetail. You can check those out. Both are still very relevant, even though they're older videos. All those spots are still good. But yeah, um, I know i got to get the Discord PM, so it'll probably be a bit after the stream. Because I'm going to make dinner. Did you get all the way over there? Yeah, that's the same one. Are you serious? <laughs> really? How did you do that? It's magic. And there's another one. Hmm. I wanted to shoot you. I'm starting to wonder if it is the same one because while it looks the same, I don't know how there were two of them. But like I said, there's no tracks, so you gotta get a good shot at the ones up here. At this point, I think we're just gonna shoot a blacktail buck and go to the other lake. What mouse am I using? I've got a Razor Naga Trinity, which I like. <laughs> it's a nice mouse. Just for some reason it hasn't liked me for about a week now. Bottom right, is it? Bottom right. Well, alright, this much I can tell you. 
They feed from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. And they're pretty out and active then. So I may try that time frame if I were you. And be somewhere near water. They drink in the middle of the night. Which is annoying. But if you can find their drink time, we have a need zone spreadsheet in the Discord. If you can find their need zone then, lakes in there will have them drinking. But it's it's something like 2200 <laughs> or somewhere in that time frame, 2300, maybe midnight. But yeah, I'm, I'm not good at the boar either. Um, Bryce, thank you for the super chat. Silver Ridge Peaks comes out August 11th on console. Gotta try and get that Razor sponsorship, maybe. Get a new mouse like every three months or something. I really like this mouse because it's not super clicky. Like it, it's uh, I don't know. It's reasonably quiet. It's not like a silent mouse, but it's pretty quiet. And that's nice for videos because like, I feel like hearing that super loud click kind of kills the immersion a bit. So, we'll see. I've got, like, Razor everything at this point. I've got, like, the mouse pad, or desk pad, I think it's called, because the keyboard's designed it too. I've got a Black Widow Elite keyboard. So, I use that Razor Synapse and is nice for lighting effects. So, I would get another Razor mouse for sure. But, we'll have to see what's out there. Oh, thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. Uh, Jack, I don't have a dog. I want to get a dog. I can't have one in my apartment here. I actually had intended on being moved out of this apartment by now. I was going to try to move out in the spring, but then there was a lot of circumstances, to be honest, but not the least of which was uh, the pandemic thing. I don't think a lot of people are wanting to show you around a house when something like that's going on, so... I just sort of decided to stay here. But I do want to get a dog. I had a dog, you know, at home with my parents for 13 years. I want another dog. I want a lap dog that's just going to, like, sit on my lap while I record videos. <laughs> How many diamonds do I have? 554? Hey. A couple of times in a row I've been asked and had the number right. Talks about mouse click killing immersion, yet he talks at full volume about 30 meters from a great one. No hate, just found it funny. A fair point, I suppose. You know, I've considered, I think it would end up being more cringe than good, so I've never done it. But I've considered trying to make a Call of the Wild video, like, made and edited as if it was real life. So, like, I guess there would be whispering, obviously tracks are off, no spotting, none of that. I don't know if you guys can hear that siren, but they're coming to get me. <laughs> Killing the immersion. Good timing. Anyway. Um, but yeah. And then, this idea that I had for a long time was... Uh, it's not going to be as good with true racks. It would have been way better with legacy racks. But take a picture of, say, a level, a small level 2 whitetail and be like, something about him being a promising buck at a year and a half, and then take a picture of a good sized level 2 and be like, okay, he's blowing up at two and a half. Run, I'll cover you. Okay, who's going to finish my stream for me? Anyway, the idea was going to be to have him be a diamond one and have like a story behind it and stuff with like fake trail cam pictures. I thought it would be cool, but I feel like ultimately it would be more cringe than cool, so never did that. Do a duck hunt with a bow? I've done like at least geese hunting with a bow and Zaggy and I streamed duck hunting the day the ducks came out. I'm pretty sure it was me that hit it, but we both took a shot. One of us smoked one like a hundred meters. But it disappeared, so we couldn't claim it. But, yeah, I don't know. I did enjoy duck hunting with a bow, but it's just <laughs> mostly boring. And they don't fly in like they used to. At least not as often. So it, it would be a lot of shooting them off the water. 
Geese hunting with a bow would be at least a little better. Got me a Diamond Cape Buffalo when it was max weight. Nice, dude. I want one. I need to shoot one with my bow. Okay, we got elk. We at least got a blacktail buck that we'll get if there's no bull elk. I've shot some really nice bulls here in the past. But it's almost always multiplayer. My map doesn't seem to produce bulls over here very often. So, looks like we're shooting a bucket. About 350. That was effective. Did the great one count towards your overall diamond count? I wish I had looked. I don't know. I think it probably should have. Because my understanding is messing up a great one gets you a gold and not a diamond. Which should mean it's like diamond rating with like a different symbol. Kinda. But I really wish I had checked. Whatever you do, do not get a cat. I had a dog and then he went missing. Now I have a cat and I'm regretting it. Yeah, understandable. I mean... I think cats are cool, but... I'd rather a dog. Can a 7 mil take down a moose? Yes. Um, lung shots are fine. Heart shots will insta-drop them. What are flu flu arrows? You know, I think... I don't even know... Oh, hi. I don't even know the exact reason for using them. I know what they are. Like, they have really big fletchings and stuff. But I don't know if that... Like, helps with their flight in the air or what I assume they're probably connected to something that you can retrieve them maybe that's the reason for the fletchings so you can find them more easily but they, yeah they have massive fletchings and they're for bird hunting like with a bow out of the air no I didn't see your diamond euro bison that's cool do I have I do have one I got that one on Hirschfelden actually I'm glad I have that one, because I don't want to go back. They're pretty rare to actually find. Nicely done, man. I feel like the real-life idea would be good in Classic. Classic would be a lot more difficult to do that, I think. Maybe not. The screenshots thing, like, to have a backstory of it, of, like, trail camera pictures. Call of the Wild just is way better for screenshots with the camera and stuff. Because in Classic, there is a camera... It's horrendous. It takes pictures in, like, 12p. But, I mean, there is a camera. Uh, let's do here, and then they're pretty much done drinking. And then we're going to go look for some moose for a bit. Then I want to go to Verhunga in about 15 minutes, and we'll do some Cape Beefalo hunting. Is this an online server? now? we're doing single player today. Especially when I'm switching maps and stuff. I like to stick to single player. And when I'm doing respawn things as well. I used to find level 3 ducks down here so consistently. Maybe it's because I don't shoot them anymore, but I rarely see them. Any big twos at least? Nope. A lot of times the elk are over in this corner, so going around is kind of the best way to see them. Is Parquet still the best for Red Deer? Parquet or Quattro, for me, like, I like the rest of the species on Parquet way better than the rest of the species on Quattro. So, I would go to Parquet for Red Deer, and I just got my most recent Diamond one off Parquet, so that certainly helps. But, yeah, like, if I'm hunting Red Deer, I'm much more happy to potentially find a Diamond Axis Deer, a Diamond Mule Deer, a diamond black buck, you know, something like that, than mouflon or ibex or wolves are cool, I guess. But yeah, I like antlered stuff, <laughs> so. Parquet for me, like, overall is better, but if you just specifically want red deer and don't care about the others, Quattro probably does have the edge. No elk down here either. Wait. There are elk down here. There's at least one. 
One that I want to shoot anyway. So we'll try to get him, and then we'll see what flees. Because that ought to be a lung. That's a hard shot. Uh, another three. That wasn't a lung. That's the one we shot. Dang it. What's the deal? That's something I don't do often. But I've done it more consistently lately. Is I've messed up the first shot and then nailed the second shot. Doesn't make any sense. Very good point. Same for me. I'll stick to parquet. I mean, I would definitely recommend it. It's always nice to get charged by a diamond water buffalo every now and then, too. New map on console? August 11th. Only played on Savannah the most when able to. I'm not 100% sure I'm understanding what you're saying, but Savannah's a great map. That's weird because I don't know where that whitetail would drink. Maybe it's over at the river. That's pretty far away though. And I did have whitetail drinking here for a while, but they stopped. And uh I don't know. I can't imagine where else those ones would be drinking at. Let me eat your lodge? No. Let me take my diamonds out of there first and I'll make a new one. My lodge isn't that nutritious anyway. Alright. There is definitely potential that we can see this level 3 and smoke him. It just depends on what direction he runs in and it doesn't look like it's a good one. My first diamond happened to be an albino lion. Well, that's the heck of a first. Did you post that in the Discord anywhere? Like in the Hunter Official, you can get into the... What do they call it? Super Rares? Like, yeah, I guess Hall of Fame or whatever with that. <laughs> kind of thinking we may not find him. But that's okay. It's move strength time. So we're going to do a little bit of Renaki. Then we'll probably fast travel north. Uh, 3D Dream, thanks again, man. Me and my dad went hunting, and I was seven. A doe and two bucks snuck up on us, and the 10 was giving me the perfect broadside shot, and my gun was on safety. You know, I had a similar story myself, actually, for my first buck. So, they're actually changing it to being this, this way again for the first time in 10 years. But when I first started hunting, buck and doe were both allowed to be taken through all of rifle season the last like 10 years other than let's just not count last year either because last year they changed another thing but the last 10 years buck season was Monday through Friday of the first week and then doe started Saturday and then you could shoot both from there forward but back then and actually starting again this year the entire rifle season you can harvest antlered or antlerless deer and Usually, the way that my dad would kind of do it was starting on around the third day, that Wednesday, um, he would start looking for does because he had spent two full days looking for bucks. If he gets a buck uh, on that Wednesday, fine, or any time going forward, but he's going to start shooting does then to start to fill the freezer, essentially. So he took me hunting uh, on the Wednesday evening, and... It was still early, like 4 o'clock probably. And a couple of does, somebody spooked them from down in the woods and they came running up into the field. So my dad decides he's going to go ahead and use the little 243 and try to smoke one of these does. So he goes to aim, pulls the trigger, safety is on. My dad has a bunch of older weapons. One of them was the 3030 that I've used for the past basically 10 years, and <laughs> those don't have safeties. Uh, Stormfist, thanks so much for the super chat. We're actually in single player today, so multiplayer is not full, but not in multiplayer. We'll, we'll probably do a multiplayer stream this week on Twitch, though, if you want to stop by. But, yeah. 
as he is, like, getting his gun set again, he realizes that a small buck has entered the field. And it's, like, spooked up into there as well. So he goes to shoot at it, misses it, because he was kind of rushing. The deer wasn't rushing. He, my dad was rushing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, he, the deer kind of, like, walked up into the field a bit when he shot. And then I got to shoot and smoked him. I have not shot a melanistic musk deer. I've seen them. They are a thing. But I've never had one. I could have got my first diamond, but my friend messed it up, and it was an albino level 4 caribou. I still killed it, but my friend shot it a bunch with his air rifle. Oh, no. That's big unfortunate. <laughs> yes, exactly, Bubbles. Exactly. Set a second bit with that. Only played on Savannah the most when I was able to with having PlayStation Plus. Okay. I can't play all the maps without it on console. Yeah, so if you don't own the DLC, you can't play the map unless in multiplayer. I think that's what you're saying. I gotcha. Max score for a Euro? Yeah, that's huge, man. 300 is max. I shot one that scored 997 on the old system. It was probably right around 294 trophy. I don't remember the exact. Or was mine 992? I think mine was 992, Riki's was 997. Pheasant anytime soon? Maybe? I think Hirschfelden is in a position that it could use a little love, and that seems to be the most likely map to get Pheasant. Shot both my diamonds by accident. Diamonds by accident are always fun. I've had a few here and there. But, I don't know, there's something more fun about claiming it and being like, Oh, I guess I just did a good thing. Uh, Popsicle, max weight for moose is 620 kg. Or like, many pounds. I don't know the pounds max weight. Uh, yeah, Jenna. Clayton Lake. Only gotten diamond geese. They're fairly rare, though, at least in my experience, so that's not bad. Hunt buffalo with a 470. That's something I want to do for a video as well. Is like a 470, probably buffalo and lion hunt. Diamonds by accident. Yes. I messed up the phantasma wolf. It's easy to do, though, man. You know, they're coded to attack you. It's really easy to mess those up. Okay, 190's not too bad. We can just get along. Don't walk in front of him. Nah. That should be good. I know there's another zone just behind that, so I like to shoot them from kind of far away. Um, Wyo, thanks for the super chat, man. Thanks for all your hard work towards Call the Wild. Enjoy your videos immensely. Well, I'm glad to hear that, man, and thank you. I enjoy what I do, so it's always fun. Just got back. Did I miss anything good? Uh, not really. Nothing that we're throwing in the trophy lodge just yet, anyway. Phantasma didn't attack me, so I got a free shot. What did it do? Just stand there? I'm trying to remember how that mission worked. For me, I feel like I ran into it up on a mountain or something. So I can't even imagine seeing it in the distance, like, before it notices you or whatever. Hmm. Why don't I use pounds? That's a really common question. I should probably just answer that in a video, <laughs> so people know. But the reason that I play with the metric system, I guess there's two reasons. Number one is I'm used to the max weights of animals in kilograms from playing classic. So a lot of them are the same. Moose are the same, elk are the same, whitetail, blacktail, black bear. Everything on Leighton and I believe everything on Hirschfeld except geese. 
All of those are the same max weights, and I knew them from Classic, so relearning them in pounds would be a bit annoying because basically <laughs> Classic you couldn't change to pounds. You only had metric and kilograms, so I just knew them. The other side is the game is clearly made for metric. So, like, you zero your weapons for 75, 150, and 300 instead of, like, 82, 164, and 328 or something. Like, it's just nicer rounder numbers. Which I like. This is the chunk I don't see many moose in, so we're gonna hop to here. And the start from there. Aerosmith, thanks for the super jam, man. Uh. I got my first diamond ever. It was a Roosevelt Elk. It took six days in the making. Uh, how long did it take you to get your first diamond when you started? Like, uh, eight months? I messed up many not knowing what a diamond was. But it took eight months till I actually got a diamond. And it was a mustier. Like, a day or two after I messed up a diamond moose because I didn't have consec. Uh, 3D, thanks again, man. If you do bear hunting, you can come down here and keep them out of the yard. I've never actually hunted bear. I may try to do that at some point. But, yeah, I don't know. I need to learn how to cook bear for sure. Uh, no, Ben, I haven't. I know he shoots a lot of diamonds. I didn't know he got a level 4 diamond one. That's cool. Right down there is where I got my troll moose. I had one there not too long ago. It's been probably a few months, but I knew it was going to be a troll, so I didn't even record it, like the score estimate told me. Which uh, I sort of said that I was going to show, and then I kind of forgot, so if we find a male, I'll show that. Hope you get the biggest males. We're definitely going to try, man. I appreciate that. Nah, nothing too special, Brooke. We're heading to Verhunga here. Really, in a couple of minutes, I'd like to get another bull moose if I can. Um, I mean, this spot's so good. I'm just gonna go here to try to smoke something else instead of running up through there. There he is. A bull moose. <laughs> How I can spot a random coyote. Looking for moose. You tell me. What's up, Nicholas? How's it going, man? I needs to get good. I can't find the big males. I think Verhunga will have a chance. We're going to have about 30 minutes. I want to mostly focus on Cape Buffalo. Maybe Lion for a bit. And then we'll kind of just go from there. That's a, that's a great looking elk. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, we'll take an elk instead of a moose. Like... Right now, elk respawns are mostly what's best for us. Because moose can't really make diamond. I see you. Eh. Eh, not worth it. What was my feeling when the great one ran by? It's actually a kind of funny combination. It was everything from, like, complete shock and awe that this thing just ran right past me. There was immediate nerves like don't mess this up and then the other side of it was I'm done with this insane grind that I've been on as long as I don't mess it up and make the shot like it was it was kind of interesting the way that it all yikes I lost my breath it all happened at once that may have been vertebrae might be able to save that what gun am I using? The 300. It's uh, really nice when you don't lose your breath and shoot too high. That was a mistake. I thought I slowed down quite a lot, but I guess I ran in till he uh, got up and went alert. Uh. Uh, tricky, thanks for the super chat, man. Just got my first diamond. It was a 413.3 Roosevelt Elk. Nice, man. It's uh, higher scoring than my max weight one. If you mess up a great one, is it just a diamond? If you mess up a great one, my understanding is that it becomes a gold, not a diamond. So you'll want to not mess up a great one. You don't even get a diamond for it. 
The Great One video is my favorite. I've been thinking about making that the channel trailer, but it's 30 minutes long. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a good one to do that for. I like the channel trailer. It's the <laughs> choose your own hunt um, video or starting video. But I don't know. The great one was very cool. That's an odd rack on him. Heart rate's okay, so maybe we can not screw this one up. I don't know if I've seen that one before. Unless it's that really wide one. I think it is. That was him. That's a decent three, but... I think we'll not take on the run shots since I'm struggling to hit him standing still, apparently. They should really do the werewolf update for Halloween in the new version. I'd actually like to see that. Like, the... The werewolf thing is fun. They did a Halloween um, event in Call of the Wild their first year. It was a little over the top in a way. Like, there were... It was either three or five-headed elk. Like, there was a bunch of ridiculous stuff. I think they should probably make it so you can't save those things in the trophy lodge. Hey, all the above. But, like, I like... The, the werewolves in Classic are cool, so... If they did them in this game, I wouldn't complain. Not really any big males. A couple of, like, decent males, but nothing that we've sent to the lodge yet, anyway. I want the other one. Wait, both of them are small. Well then. <laughs> Beagling while he takes a bullet. I wanted that three, but maybe he ran further. How'd you get a diamond and a great one? That made me so confused and amazed at the same time. That was pure RNG, man. And I mentioned it in the video where I like talked about some of the backstory and stuff from the Great One. The craziest thing in my mind about that whole deal was that if there wasn't a level 3 Whitetail there, I wouldn't have pressed record, and I wouldn't have gotten my live reaction of that Great One running by. That was the most insane part to me. That's about as wide as I've seen them. If score... Yeah, if score. If, uh... With affected score, this would be a diamond. Because he's got, like, a... Easily a 50-inch spread. If these are inches, which they're not. But if we want to count, like, the main beam length as 127 inches... His spread is easily the length of one of his... Beams. Easy. Just some cool updates, Bigfoot. Yeah, stuff like that would be cool. But yeah, I never did the Halloween event. I was not really into the game that much back then. I was more interested in Classic. Classic had its werewolves and stuff. So I did that. And also, if I remember correctly, and this will come as a surprise to no one, uh, I think it was a little bit buggy. The, uh, the Halloween missions, so... That was the other reason I kind of avoided it. But we're off to Verhunga. Again, if I can find the right place to go. It's Cape Buffalo drink time, which we won. I think we're just going to leave it. Because basically they're going to stop drinking around the end of the stream and we can catch some lions maybe. Uh, what's the smart decision here? We'll just go to some lake I don't usually go to for a minute and let things move into the zones. Uh, 3D Dreams, thanks again, man. Can you go frog hunting and do you have a girlfriend? Maybe I'll go frog hunting at some point. But yeah, she's probably here. She was here. Where do I think the next map will be? I'm... See, I want a North American desert map. But we, two of the last three maps have been North America, so. Australia seems very possible. Maybe a second Africa map. Would really like that as well. Like Impala, Black Wildebeest, Greater Kudu, Elin Sable. Uh, what else? Hyenas could be like the main predator. They could do lie in our Cape Buffalo again, and I don't think most people are going to complain. You're in Northwest PA, 20 minutes south of Lake Erie? 
Yeah, I am in PA. You'd be around three hours from me. I'd be southeast of you, but I didn't know that. That's cool, man. Got a little piggy. A little piggy that's really far away. This is actually not a bad spot to sit when you change times or change maps, by the way. Is that... Because it's a female, I think it could be. Could also be the sun. But is that a red? I think it is. Eh, maybe not. This is the only spot that I've ever killed one like this. Shot a red one when it was running by, so... Seems like deja vu in a way. I'm here fixing my souvenirs around. Your 15 new woofs. Smoked. Holy. I'm actually quite impressed with YouTube's lack of delay today. Like, you guys seem to be responding to things that happened really quickly compared to other times, so maybe they changed something with their latency? I've been running low latency for a while, so I don't know what's different, but I like it. It's closer to, like, what Twitch is usually. Any non-map DLC things you want to see added? Trail cams would be cool. Um, you know, some there was a trail cam in, like, Silver Ridge's missions or something, and somebody said maybe that was a hint. And normally... Oh, it was red-brown. Okay. Normally I would have, uh, just been like, nah, it's just a mission thing. But they did that on... Was it Yukon? Wasn't there like, the people on the mission used like a 22 pistol? And one of the next DLCs was Weapon Pack 3 with a 22 pistol? So maybe there's something to that. I'd like to see it. No luck calling the bear in or the whitetail in? Which one are we talking about? Not just the new ones. You're gonna have to show me, Brooke. I wanna see. All small boys. Okay. We'll go here first, because that's what we usually do. Gives them time to move into the main zone over there. What do you think about an Irish map? I don't know if there's enough new species you could do on an Irish map. I like the idea, actually. But in my mind, from a business perspective, you have to be able to really sell the map. So you need something new and special. Do they have trail cams in Honor Mobile? I didn't know that. I feel like... See, I don't know enough about game development. But I feel like you could do it in a way that doesn't really break the game. White tells I'm still bad at the game. I don't know patterns. Yeah, it, takes, it actually takes a lot of getting used to. If you're struggling to hunt them or like bring them in or whatever... Sometimes if they're trying to move to a zone, or once you've spooked them, they won't come in. But, I don't know if you're hunting their zone times. If you hunt between 12 and 1500 in-game, they're going to be drinking. And they're very, very visible and huntable. Is these this? No, these are different ones. But we killed a legendary here on Twitch. That was the one of the diamonds in yesterday's video. That guy doesn't look too bad. Wonder if he'll stop. The other one stopped. You wanna stop? Please? It's already a lot of pressure, so if he doesn't, I'm not worried about it, but... Eh... Not stopping. Okay. So... I only see that female. Really not a bad deal if we don't shoot anything here. Because of how much hunting pressure. But, always worth a check. There is a mythical. He's kind of out of the way. I think we're okay to shoot him. Was gonna say it'll be fine. We killed some time and could go to our other spot, but... We'll take that. And he went aggressive, so even if we mess that up at 300, we'll come right in. 
Uh. Shane, thanks for the super chat. How many diamonds do I have? Actually, we checked earlier. It's 554. Uh, July 16th on PC, Graham. I think it's out on Xbox and PS4 might be around the PC release. Did I actually not get a lung? I didn't. Go figure, because I can do it with a 7 mil at that range. Quite a good thing. He went aggressive. Is this game cross-platform because I'm on PS4? Unfortunately, it's not. It's a pretty niche game, and it's quite a big undertaking to make a game cross-platform, as I understand it, so... No cross-platform. Maybe someday in the future, but I don't see that as being very likely. Let's give this a shot. Need a level 5 diamond for diamond number 555? You know? It's a good point. But if we find a level 9k buffalo, <laughs> I'm probably shooting it. I should get the bow. Because if we see a bighorns one, I really don't need to be running back to get it. This spot's not that bad. We're right by a lodge anyway. But before we go elsewhere, I should switch. We'll see if I can remember to do that for two minutes. When's my pronghorn trip, and where is it? It's going to be in Wyoming, and like, end of September, roughly? What's the Hunter Mobile called in the App Store? I think it's just the Hunter Mobile. I know they initially released in, like, Sweden. I'm pretty sure it's out everywhere now. I could be wrong. I've, I haven't played it. It doesn't really interest me, but, yeah. It seems cool enough, just not my kind of game. Eh. Ooh, that did work. Didn't really think it was going to. Would love trapping in this game. I keep forgetting I'm using aim toggle. Uh, or another game, but trapping down the road would be amazing. A lot of people ask about trapping. I feel like at least like, from my perspective, not enough of the community would actually use it for it to be worth the developer's time. If there is enough people, then they should absolutely do it. And I'm starting to wonder, like, that's my answer every time people ask about it, that I don't feel like there's enough people. But I'm starting to wonder if that's the case, because there are a lot that do uh, ask questions about it. <laughs> Aggressive again. Surely that was a lung. No? What am I doing different with the 300 than with the 7 mil? Because the 7 mil does fine. All right, we got three super chats all in a row. There we got uh, Jaden. <laughs> Where do I find the new map at? If you're on console, it doesn't release till August 11th. But if you're on PC, it's going to be in the Steam store. Then we got Michael. My daughter wants a 10,000 BC map. Sabretooth, Wooly Rhino, etc. Thoughts? The Hunter devs did a game called Hunter Primal a while back. And I think it was a really cool idea. And I really am kind of bummed out that they abandoned it. Because I really think that game could have gone far. <laughs> so I'd actually like to see them do that. Not necessarily in this game. I think I'd probably prefer for them to do it in like its own separate game but the idea itself is good i think that could do really really well and i think that would capture a lot of a different community as well uh we got 3d dreams with the super chat can you do fishing planet and fishing in your real life vids i might pick up fishing planet i just can't i have it i just can't enjoy a fishing game i don't know why as for real life stuff maybe um, we'll have to see. I don't do a lot of fishing to begin with, but that definitely fits into the niche, so I'll certainly consider it. Did that other, like, I heard footsteps. Did that other Cape Buffalo make it around here? He did. 
But then I guess he died? Or did he? I don't think that hunting pressure was there. Or wait, I heart shot one. Hey. He must have just stopped charging us then. What do you think about a possibility for players to disable true racks in single player to get OG racks? I don't think that's a terrible idea actually, but the new scoring system, they'd have to do more than just disable true racks. They'd have to work with that a little bit, I think. Maybe not. But yeah, I don't hate the idea. Need to make the game Carnivores revamped on console? I mean, sounds good. I don't know anything about it. What do I think a doggo is coming to the uh, Call of the Wild? I think it's a good idea. They're a pretty big deal in Classic. Like, they are very useful. The tracking dog, not so much. The pointer is pretty good. And the retriever, for me, is, like, the big thing. Because, I mean, even in my goose hunting video the other day, how many times did I get caught out of my blind trying to go claim geese? If I could just have a, a dog go do that, no big deal. Hey, you're the one. So you were charging me that entire time? Where did you, I guess he ran so far by me that I didn't even know he was still there. But I know the developers have their hands full with working on hunting DLC, but I hope down the road the trapping happens. It could. I mean, the community really wanted turkeys. They brought it up at every turn, every stream the developers did. They made sure to make it known that it was one of the things that's really wanted. And eventually, we got turkeys. So if enough people ask about it, I wouldn't be shocked to see it. Wait. What did I ignore? What did I ignore? I don't know what it was. The chat's moving fast. I'm sorry. That's a female. That's also a female. Best way of getting a rifle score? Uh... I'm technically shooting like fox and stuff because they give the most. We need beggars for trapping, just hire a bunch of them. Should be good. So, how many capes did I just shoot here? Four. Okay, I think I claimed everything. Stop chasing me. Three. Too late now. But. But. I was trying to do good. I'm in trouble. I assume I ignored a, ignored a question from Brooke then. I thought you were talking about that I ignored something in... That's not the gun I want to get rid of. In the Super Chats. And I was like, that's not good. <laughs> I need to make sure I answer those. I'm more excited to hunt Pronghorn with Gary or Whitetail with you. Well, obviously Whitetail with you. I'm excited for Pronghorn, but I think that's going to be fun. Our little white tail hunt. The real question is, are we going to try to film it? Because I'm worried about just trying to get you your first deer and not trying to get it on film. But it would be cool to get it on film. Saw so legendary bear and mountain lion and my game crash. Was it in single player? Or was it in multiplayer on your own map? Everything on your own map stays even if your game crashes. If you shoot them, new animals replace them. But... Yeah, that should still be there if it was your own map. He's alarmed, he's gonna flee. <laughs> Think we did okay? Yeah. Okay. Good answer? It's not a good answer, it's the truth. Chill. <laughs> uh, what level do you have to be to get the turkey call and crow call? I think you get those straight away. Pretty sure. 
I believe they're literally stuck in your inventory to start with. Hello? What the heck's happening here? You're a male. <laughs> Wrong zero range, but we got him. You're a male, and didn't I spot a seven? Yes. I only have two shots. Got him. And got him. Very nice. We could try to film it, but to be honest, I'll outshine you. Well, if you're the one hunting, that's the idea. But I just don't want to have another thing to worry about. Have I been hunting in real life? Yeah, I've been hunting in general for like 17, 18 years. I shot a groundhog when I was six and a squirrel, I think, that fall. But technically the groundhog was the first thing I ever hunted and got. But deer hunting since I was 10, so this will be like my 14th year of doing that. I'm getting old. That's not okay. Why chill triggers me now, <laughs> I'll never know. Because it gives you the chills and you don't like it. I missed a shiny Pikachu. I mean, you can't even tell the difference. You know what I'm saying? Ever got a diamond turkey? My level 3 friend shot and got one. I hate him so much. Yeah, they're pretty common. I've actually gotten a, a bunch of them at this point. If you're, if you're seriously looking for one, keep at it. You'll find one. Well, been hunting for a while. I know how hunting goes. I mean, yes. But also, there's just a lot to do. Wrath. Uh. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. That's way too much support, but I really appreciate you. Keep up the great work, Flinty Boy. I'll definitely do my best, man. Thank you. Too generous, I tell you. But seriously, thanks a lot, man. Uh, yeah, Max, I do back up my game. Usually, like, once a week, or if I kill something cool. So, for instance, when I shot my great one, I literally finished that video, closed the game, backed up my save file, went back in, and, like, took pictures for the thumbnail and stuff. Anytime I get something cool, I do, uh, back up. My zone's gone. It's, I think it's down here? Why did my zone go away? I didn't shoot too many down here. I never do. Flinter is so friendly. First time watching your stream. Well, I appreciate that. I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Guess you can go get that mouse now. Suppose so. Only because best community in all of YouTube. Bow or rifle hunter in real life? Both. But if I were to call myself one or the other, I'd probably call myself a bow hunter. I prefer bow hunting for sure. Did I? I'm so confused. Where is the spot? Maybe it's over this little hill? I'm just going to see if I can spook them and figure out where they live. But yeah, I, I'm i definitely more passionate about bow hunting, and I definitely enjoy bow hunting more. But I certainly have more rifle deer kills like I've shot oh, something's happening I've shot 22 deer oh, alright used to playing the other way that was a good shot <laughs> I've shot 22 deer and I think 18 are with guns nope did I not get huh I thought that was a long shot Hey, Raymond, how's it going, man? We're just out here trying to avoid getting runned over. Okay. We'll do this spot up here because it's pretty good. And then that's probably going to be the end of our Cape Buffalo hunting. Their drink time is basically over. And we'll see if we can maybe smoke a lion real quick. You bought a mini horse and named it Flinter? That is awesome. You should post a picture of him in the Discord. I want to see him. Okay. The real good spot is this one. I got a little concerned there, but we got to get by these 
a couple of females, hopefully without getting run over first. Did I get the bow? Yes. We'll take him out if we need to. Can you tell me how to get diamonds? I mean, essentially, you need to shoot, let's just say, a max level animal, and they have to have a high enough trophy rating to reach diamond, and you have to pass all four harvest checks. So harvest checks are uh, less than two shots. Nope, sorry, two shots or less. I need to, um, I need to say that correctly. Two shots or less. Vital hit, proper ammo, and trophy organs intact. So trophy organs for almost everything is a skull. So you don't want to shoot them in the skull because it's going to like break the antlers or whatever. Uh. That's kind of the idea. Wrath, you absolute madman. <laughs> Thank you so much again, dude. You're way too kind. What have I missed? Uh, you know, not too much. Just, uh, just mostly smoking big males for respawns. There's a big male in chat right now, I can tell you that much. His name is Wrath. Biggest male I've ever seen. <laughs> Kyle is ac uh, accurate. Good point. I can't spot him. We're going to have to get this thing. But seriously, Wrath, that's far too generous, but it is very much appreciated. Uh. I believe that bow shot's going to spook the one this morning calling over there. And 3D Dreams, thanks a ton as well, dude. Thanks for the great stream and vids. I'm going to roll out. Sounds good, man. I appreciate you sticking out and all the support from you and Wrath and everybody else that's been in here. You guys are going crazy today, but I appreciate you, like I said. How about adding squirrel? Um, I like the idea the interaction with trees might be a little bit tough for them to code in properly. To be honest, I think we spooked that male when we shot the bow, because they were alert already. And we only have a couple of minutes. They're actually still drinking, though. These are all tough to see. Ooh. What are we going to do? Oh, I know. The spot. My internet exploded. What did I miss? Nothing too special, man. Nothing headed for the trophy lodge just yet. So killing high-level animals helps them respawn at diamond tier. Not necessarily. That's kind of the theory and the devs said a, a thing that kind of makes you think that's the case. But also, like, from experience, I do wonder. But basically, the devs said animals try to respawn in the same weight class as what they were when you shot them. So, in theory, anything that's already, like, good-sized, if you shoot it, has got a chance of respawning as a diamond because diamonds are always towards the top of their weight class. But yeah, from experience, it almost feels more random than what they say. It's just... No one really knows for sure... But I try to pretty much just shoot everything. It seems to be effective. Speaking of shooting everything, I may try to get that guy. Something else that we can go for. I mentioned, you know, this whole stream was meant to be about shooting the biggest males. But I mentioned earlier that the two things I mostly need to fill in the trophy lodge are the biggest plaques and the smallest ones. Warthog can go on to the smallest ones and have less ducks and stuff in the lodge. So I think we'll take that, actually. Get him for a respawn. Do I know I am TSG? Yes. I actually have been talking to him on Twitter every now and then. I can't join your Discord? Is it saying like it's invalid or whatever? Sometimes it does that. You could maybe try, like, the video descriptions instead of the stream one, but I believe that's the same invite link. Excuse you. Come attack me. I know that's what you want to do. Do it. Would it be possible to get most or every animal on your map to be a diamond from respawns? Maybe? 
I kind of think there's a good chance that the game has some kind of balancing act that it does. So it maybe like doesn't allow beyond a certain number of diamonds or something like that. Again, that's a guess. Okay, good. We're going to get a Cape Buffalo out of this. But, yeah, I mean... In theory, if there's no balancing act, if it's just random spawns, eventually that could happen, yes? We'll use the more fun weapon. Is the Discord free? Yeah. <gasps> nope. <laughs> no touch. I don't like how it draws you back again. Unless that's my mouse. Oh, it is. I think it's my mouse double clicking. Maybe not. I don't know. I definitely think I would like to get my mouse issues figured out. So just since I mentioned it, we're going to go see if we can smoke a lion here before we're done. And if not, maybe a, another Cape Buffalo will have moved in. Got an albino caribou. How rare are they? Fairly rare. I would say, uh, other than melanistic, albino is the most rare um, fur type for them. Are diamonds more common... Inbox than Xbox? I, on PC than Xbox? I think is probably what you meant. I like how it just decided Inbox when you already said Xbox. Um, I don't think they're more common. I don't see why they would be. Like, for a long time, the guy that had the most diamonds, and maybe it still is him, or one of the guys that had the most diamonds was a PS4 player. So, I, I don't think that... It should be any different. In the last two days, I found two albino plains bison. I've been seeing a lot more rare plains bison on Silver Ridge than I ever did on Yukon. I don't know if that's a product of Silver Ridge Peace seeming to have a lot of, like, rares and diamonds. But, yeah, I do seem to see a lot of them, actually. Is there not going to be anything here after we came all the way down here? Man. Oh, wait. Female. Who said that? I don't see you. It was you. No. Why you flee? All your friends go aggressive. Eh. Fine, be like that. I'll try the spot for lions quick then. Actually, we have this tent down here where we killed like a bunch of them. <laughs> Probably on a Twitch stream, I can't remember. Maybe there's more here. Uh, 3D Dreams, thanks for the super chat. What's your Insta and can you play with Fooster? Someday I might play with Fooster, we'll see. Instagram is Flinter Gaming. There's a, a Flinter on Instagram that is not me. Mine is Flinter Gaming. I've got like literally nine posts, so wouldn't be hard for you to figure it out. Just find the one that has nine posts and should be all set. Not the biggest mail, but there's a couple of things that I'm going to be working on in future videos from this map as far as, like, trying to gear for the trophy lodge. I think I want three more rare female lions, which is a tall order, but I want another one for the breadwinner multi-mount. And then I have two royalty multi-mounts, and I'd like one for each of those if we can manage that. How many golds do I got? Uh, 6,909? Almost 7,000, but anyway. I'd like a rare male lion. I mean, we got the blonde recently. But I really want an albino or a dark brown. And then... A male diamond gunsmack would be good. Somebody said something. I heard a snarl. Maybe we'll just go back to the other side. Yeah, male diamond gunsbug, big horns diamond cape buffalo with a bow. Like, there's a lot of stuff I still want to go for. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know. Shooting these lions, even when they're level 5, maybe respawns a male. Uh, rare wrath, dude. 
Don't forget you're a YouTube faithful. Don't worry, I don't think I can ever forget you after today. That's just way too much, far too generous support. But like I said, I really do appreciate you, man. That's like a lot. It's approximately a lot, but seriously, dude, thank you so much. Thanks for supporting the content and everything. It means a lot. My Hunterpedia is like Oh, I gotcha. I see what you mean by that. Is me. I, I am the Hunterpedia. I gotcha. Uh. <laughs> when someone's super chatting to call someone else insane for super chats. You know it's legit. 3D Dreams, thanks again, man. Wrath is insane, but the good kind of insane. I do appreciate you guys. It's been all the supports today. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that, Kyla. We're just gonna, I guess, check here. I know I heard another lion. It must have been walking into its zone and spooked. But at this point, let's see if there's some something we can clutch <laughs> before we wrap up the stream. Uh, Alexander, thanks for the super chat. No diamonds. Um, I was hoping to maybe clutch a diamond here at the end, but don't see nothing. So, will to beast it is, I suppose. Wait, that's a Gims buck. I mean, I, eh, I want both, but I want a male diamond Gims buck more. Where's your head? Okay, your nose is blocking my shot as they normally do. I don't know if there's a lion there. Hey, that actually worked. Cool. It's okay? Okay. I'll, I'll just accept this. Can you move up to Yellowstone? Uh, sure. Why not? Nah, Brixton, nothing too special. I mean, we shot a lot of stuff today. Probably got around 10 Roosevelt elk. Probably 10k buffalo, a couple of Rocky Mountain elk, a couple of moose, a couple of Gensbuck, and other small things here and there. Just, you know, all respawn stuff. There was a time when I would have considered this hunt pretty much a massive fail because I spent two hours and didn't kill any diamonds. But I kind of look at the game differently now. And I look at it more of like, hopefully next time I come to Verhunga there's going to be diamonds. And even if there's not, it's a work towards eventually getting diamonds by shooting more stuff next time we come here so you know it's all progress or at least that's the way I look at it because I like games where you can make progress and it's good to actually enjoy playing the game and not find trophies all the time because then I mean like I said you don't have hunts that feel like failures but anyway I think that's going to do it for the stream before we wrap up, I just have to say thank you to all of you guys for an insane, like, super fun stream. We didn't kill anything special, but really fun time. And you guys with the support today were just insane. So I appreciate that. It means a lot. And yeah, I think that's going to do it. So hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.